I would like to explain simple number six, the living being, from Martinus' simple book number one, also called The Eternal World Picture, volume one. All living beings have the same cosmical structure, irrespective if it is a human being, an animal, a plant, a mineral, uh, an organ, a cell, a galaxy, a solar system, all living beings are principally built up in the same way because every living being consists of a created part that can manifest itself on the physical plane or on the spiritual plane. But behind every creation there is a creator and here at the top we have the self, the I, the creator and connected with the creator is a creative ability. There is a creative power and this creative power can use the different energies in order to create. Every living being is a unit but in the analysis Martinus can divide it into these three parts and this eternal self or the eternal I is very special because you cannot sense it, you cannot experience it because it contains all existing contrasts. And if, for example, you take the white light, you can say there is no colors in the white light. But if you have a prism, it can be divided into the individual contrasts. And uh, you can then say the creative power X2 is this prism that can uh, divide all existing things into this contrast. If you take everything that exists, all contrasts will take each other out. And that is what we have here in the fate element. X1, the creator, it looks as if it's nothing, but in a way it's everything. It just has to be divided into its different contrasts. According to Martinus cosmology, we have six basic energies, and every living being can use these six basic energies. It has a, a talent for using the instinct energy with red color. It has a talent for using the physical energy, the energy of gravity. It has a talent for using feeling energy, a talent for using intelligence energy, green color, and also intuition. The intuition energy is rooted here in the talent kernel, in the superconsciousness, and also you, have, you can use the memory energy. These are eternal talents. For all eternity you can use these uh, energies. And the created world all things in the created world have a start and an end. It is like that with all creations. But it is actually an eternal recreation because you cannot create energy. The sum of energy is constant. It has not had a begin and not an end. You cannot create energy, but you can transform it into other forms. So the created world is an eternal recreation. And here with the orange circle you have the physical body and here you have the cross which symbolizes X2, the perfect creative power, and the center is X1. In a way you have the living being in two ways, X1, X2 and the physical body, or X1, X2, X3. Martinus uses <coughs> the expressions the creator, the creative power, and the created, <coughs> or X1, X2, X3. Three. <clears throat> Every time when you have had an experience, you have, you have developed. Martino thinks that you become master through training and praxis. Every time when you have made an experience, every time when you have repeated some act, you have created a talent. And all these talents, abilities, they can be stored in this body of eternity. And that is the backbone in the whole Martino's uh, theory of evolution. That is, that everything that you have experienced and learned in this life is not lost. It will be uh, stored in this eternal element, which means that all your abilities, talents, will survive the dead of the body. When we have a corpse, people think that consciousness is disappearing, but actually all these talents are stored. And according to Martinus, we have personally gone through the whole biological evolution, through the whole Darwinistic evolution. We have been uh, 
monkeys, we have been apes, we have been reptiles, we have been fish, we have been worms and so on. But personally, we have went through all the evolution. And in that perspective, no experience is wasted in the light of evolution. And what we are today and all the talents, we have created them ourselves through millions and millions of reincarnations in the physical world. So with this uh, eternal element, he has a totally different theory of evolution, because then evolution can only go forwards and upwards, because you are getting more and more experiences. You are getting better and better talents.